<sighs> tick tock, tick tock. Who's afraid of the old dead croc? I'll do Disney show tunes all night long if you guys want to. I'll take tips below. I don't know if you can do that on here or not. Hang on, we're telling more of your friends to join the video live from inside the Carapy Broadcasting Studios here in Indio. I am doing an unboxing for the first time in a long time. And I gotta scratch something out because I don't want people to know things. So what up? You guys can join whenever you want. Gonna do a little unboxing here. Got a statue I've been waiting for. Um, tell you a side story about this. Um, one of the statue from the moment it came out. It's uh, an artist that I really enjoy, and um, uh, I approached. Uh, first off, I tried to get it through um, through Sideshow Collectibles. It was being a cheapskate. Thought maybe my friends at Comic Asylum could get it for me cheaper. They could, but it was sold out by the time um, the uh, by the time I got to them. And so, thank you, Chick, for attempting to get it for me, but inevitably I had to buy it somewhere else. Anyways, so I thought about it, buying it on eBay. Thought about buying it somewhere else. Decided against that. Um, and uh, it was funny was I, you know, on a lot of websites, and this is where I tell you, I tell people like when it comes to collectibles, if you have an option to, um, if you have an option to, to do the, uh, email me when it comes available, highly recommend doing it because that's how I ended up getting the statue. And this thing is being a butt. So hold on gonna reboot here that's what happens when you share your office with an with a uh, uh, seven-year-old let's do this doot 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 I don't know if that's officially how you do this little uh, ring camera, but that's how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to hook you up right here. Boom! And we're going to get back after this. So, telling a story, I get the um, option, click here to and submit your email and we'll tell you when it becomes available. And, um, okay, cool, I'll do it. I did it. It ain't going to happen. I'm never going to get the statue. Chick will end up having to track it down for me and I'll eventually get it. Or I'll buy it like at a, a Comic-Con. I got uh, same artist, which is Jolie Jones. It's a little hint about what's behind this box. Um, I found a statue that I didn't even know I wanted, but I found it. it was a great price. It was a it was it wasn't a sideshow. It was a DC. Oh, I can't think of what it's called, but D, it's DC collectible, which is kind of subcontracted by sideshow. But I found it, it was a really cool Batgirl statue. Um, it's her upside down doing a selfie, done by Jolie Jones. Jolie Jones happened to be at WonderCon where I bought the statue and I got her to sign the base. I didn't think I was going to, but I was able to um, get a, um, I managed to grab a ticket to her signing and got her to sign it. That was pretty cool. So anyways, moving on. Um, so I, I, I uh, submit the email thinking no chance in hell. Fast forward to late August, September-ish of this past year, um, I get an email about seven o'clock in the morning. I can't remember what day it was, but it doesn't matter. It's not important to the story. But I was on the golf course with my dad and I get a email from Sideshow saying that that 
statue is now available to purchase. Boom, hit the click, hit the link button in the email, switched over to Sideshow's uh, website, got it, financed it in two payments. I could have just bought it in, in a whole, but you know, whatever. Um, it was supposed to, it, as soon as I got it, between November 2020 and December 2020. Okay, let's be realistic. It's probably going to be more close to December. So I wait every day. I check. It's like a little, like a little kid on Christmas. I was like waiting for Santa Claus. Um, I would wait and wait and wait uh, and look every single day at the website, see if it would update, see if it would. Update. And then I, you know, as I always tell you, the second you forget about it, it, pops up. So sure enough, I think it was like end of no, it was over the weekend. Take the back. It was like it happened like boom like that. I got an email, actually, I think it was on New Year's Eve, I got an email saying that it was going to be back in stock on January 5th and that it would ship um, as soon as they got a hold of the the the, the, um, the statues. And so, I don't know, I think it was on Monday, Sunday or Monday, I got an alert from UPS saying it's en route. So it was supposed to be here yesterday. Something got messed up with UPS, but it is here now. And it's behind. Oh, look at that. That's what it is. DC Collectibles direct from the source. So this that's what it is. It's, it's the same thing as DC Collectibles. Um, it is a subsidiary of Sideshow Collectibles. They did a good job of packing this. A lot of stuff to throw away. By the way, shout out to PS Comics. I love you. Go over to our Instagram account at PS Comics. I love you, and like us on there, and get all updates on cool stuff coming up. So here it is: the wedding dress, the DC Cover Girls Catwoman wedding dress. Now, for those who don't know. Um, this is based on the Jolie Jones designed uh, Catwoman wedding dress from the, I think it was Batman issue number 50 of the uh, um, the last run. So it was actually from about two years ago, two or three years ago. Um, it was a connecting issue. And um, it was her in the wedding dress and obviously Bruce Wayne in the... Um, uh, and his tux says right here, wearing her now iconic wedding dress, Selena Kyle is on her way to the Mary Batman in this stunning DC cover girl statue based on the art of Jolie Jones as seen as seen in the comics before the fateful Batman number 50. The integrity details dress is masterfully sculpted by Jack Matthews. Shout out to him, did a great job. And the piece itself radiates in beautiful elegance. That's straight from the back of the box. Um, and then they say it in French. Uh, it also says to collect them all. Ooh, I want that Frank Cho. I have to look that one. That's a cool looking. Um, and I'll show you the back of the box. This is the sketch art from Jolie um, or Joel, whatever you want to say. I call her Jolie. Uh, that is the Frank Cho Supergirl. Gonna have to add that to my collection. I have a Art Germ Stanley Lau uh, Supergirl, and I also have a. Um, uh, um, oh my gosh, Michael Turner inspired Supergirl that I picked up. Uh, that is phenomenal. I, I got it for basically nothing um but i'm really a big fan of supergirl especially the classic costumes um the harley quinn's kind of cool but really there's only a couple of harley quinn's that i really would like to have and sorry frank that's not one of them but i do want that frank cho supergirl I'm gonna have to check that out all right let's open this bad boy up before it gets added to my collection which is gonna be upstairs and you guys aren't gonna see it Serial number, there it is, very important, number 2,448 of 5,000. Now, here's the thing, before I get into it, let me see in the bottom of the box. Now, this is, here we go, 2,448 of 5,000. Now, here's the thing, is it doesn't specify, um, it does not specify in the box, how many originally the DC collectibles and Sideshow were going to manufacture. So it could be, I, I don't know for sure, I'll have to do some research on it with Javel um, over at Comic Asylum or, or Chick to find out what the original um, manufacturing run was on these statues. But again, this is a second run of the statues. And I don't know if that's the same thing as like in a comic book where they have a second printing. 
Um, so we don't know. I have to ask him if he and he's got he's got statue guys. Got to find out if this was meant to be a five thousand piece run and they just ran out um, before they could get to the fir- to the, to the five thousand. Like if they intended on doing five thousand, don't know. Going to have to ask Javel. So um, here's the box. The artwork again done by jo- Jolie Jones. Um, get in here. Cross her fingers. No problems. Um, statues don't run. Yeah. Thanks, Jim. Oops, have it upside down. Um, I blame Chick for this. I was never gonna get into statues. Um, I was hell bent on just sticking with modern, um, modern age comic books. Um, and was going to just do uh, old comic books through trade paperback. That didn't last long. I ended up buying multiple collections um, that have led to me uh, having a rather large silver age and bronze age uh, comic book collection. And um, then I said I was never going to get into collectibles. Well, that didn't last long. Started getting into Funkos, and I blame my two friends here. Philip Catalfamo and Jim Eisenacher, um, who got, who really pushed the Funko thing with me. Um, mostly Jim, but I know he won't take full credit for that because he knows I open the box of Funkos and he doesn't. Um, but I blame mostly Chick for the, my, my new statue infatuation because, um, one evening I was helping Chick and Javel. Uh, get ready for Fantasia Con, which was the old City of Indio Comic Con, and they were trying to find um, these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle books because Kevin Eastman was going to be there. And um, so I helped them stay. Well, while we were moving stuff, Chick dropped a, a Superman statue, and it was actually one that I really wanted because it was a statue from Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice. And it was um, Henry Cavill, who I think is a really good Batman. I really enjoyed his portrayal of the Man of Steel. And she dropped it from about 10 feet up. Uh, Only the base broke. And uh, I jokingly said, dibs. She inevitably sold it to me for an extremely generous discounted price. Uh, It's on my desk. I was able to fix the base. Um, It actually looks kind of cool cracked because Superman's kind of doing this downward punch because he was going to punch Batman. And um, I kind of got bit by the bug and, again, bought the, the Jolie Jones Batgirl statue um, and then bought the uh, I bought the Michael Turner Supergirl statue only because I got an unbelievable deal on that. And it was way too good to pass up. Even my wife was like, yeah, you should get that. It's kind of cool. You like Michael Turner. And then I got the Art Germ one, which was really cool. That was one of the first statues I bought from Chick, like in, intended on buying from Chick. And of course I got that signed by Stanley Lau. Um, so here we go. So the main event, Selena Kyle in all her glory in the iconic wedding dress um, right here. There you go. Beautiful statue. Uh, what was it? Um, Jack Matthews did a great job at sculpting this. Um, I cannot see any flaws uh, on this statue. Fantastic job, my good friend. Um, I have to say that another really good version of this iconic dress was done by, um, oh my gosh, completely just forgot her name, Natalie Saunders. Uh, she did a great job. It was a variant, I believe, of um, is either a Catwoman variant or it was a variant of Batman fi- number fifty, but it's a uh, a Virgin variant, so no logos or anything on the cover. Um, this is not sliding in properly, so maybe we do have a flaw, or maybe I'm putting it in backwards. Let's check that. Shouldn't go. Shouldn't be a problem because it's it's only two prongs. 
Oh, it's not one. It's gonna be one of those like you have to line it up perfectly. Anyways, uh, it's a Nat Natalie Saunders, and I'll probably bring it up on the next episode of. Oh, that's why it's bent. Oh no, it is, does have a flaw. Um, we'll bring up that that issue, oh, Natalie, because uh, it's a fantastic cover. Oh, there we go. Slide right on. Well, that's that's cool. I'm kind of disappointed. That's my one. I wish the base was a little bit bigger. Um, you don't see the iconic Jolie Jones signature, which was right here. Um, but it is also kind of cool that the entire dress does kind of um, engulf the base. Um, really unfortunate because I do want Jolie to sign this inevitably whenever we go back to cons. I know that she's a regular at WonderCon. She does attend, uh, uh, from time to time show up for special events, usually with CGC um, at San Diego Com Comic Con. Uh, I know that people have been asking uh, in emails to the show over the last couple of months if I have heard anything in regards to, because um, I do have some in at Comic-Con, do I think there's going to be a con this year? Um, if I were a betting man, I would say no. But uh, especially considering that a lot of major sports teams, especially here in California, um, I know the governor has said no large gatherings of any kind um, for the foreseeable future. So when you have San Diego Comic-Con that um, uh, relies on a quarter of a million people coming through the turnstiles over a five-day weekend, I don't think that's going to happen this year. But um, they have not officially canceled it for 2021. They technically, Comic-Con International does have their name on the books for I think it's like the second or third week in July so who knows maybe I know some people have asked me like if they do have it and you are offered a, a job at the con do you take it um yeah I probably would uh I, I've been pretty good about wearing my mask and and keeping social distancing and and, and whatnot I know that um a lot of people I've talked to that were um putting um, emergency plans into place for Comic-Con last year are, are they're really prepared for uh, going back to con season. But I think we're probably looking at 2022 before we go back to con season. But nonetheless, that's a whole different topic. Look at us uh, on uh, YouTube, PS Comics, I love you. Or go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash wildthing2331. That's wildthing2331. Or you can look us up on all podcast platforms. P.S. Comics, I love you. And uh, check it out. We are going to be doing, picking up where we left off with Star Wars, Force Awakens. Hopefully this Sunday, um, JR and I made a decision uh, around Christmas time to take a break and not record on Christmas. And then decided not to record on New Year's weekend. Um, and we should be recording this Sunday. I'm um, just not 100% sure. I know that he has some family obligations uh, that um, he has on the book. So... Again, we haven't forgot about you guys. We do have The Force Awakens and then Last Jedi, and then we will finish it up, the Star Wars saga, with um, our uh, episode on the, la uh, the uh, Rise of Skywalker. That's what it is. We are going to lump all of our the, the, the TV uh, shows into one episode, so we're going to do Clone Wars, Rebels, and The Mandalorians season one and two in uh, all in one episode. Uh, that'll be the last episode. And then when it's all said and done, we are going to do a, another collectibles uh, episode where we're going to talk about um, books that you should grab based on what we just talked about. Star Wars books you should grab. Books based on the Disney Plus and, and the uh, upcoming movie stuff that's going to be coming out in the theaters. Talk about, you know, uh, WandaVision, which... Can you believe it? It's finally going to be here a week from Friday. It will be on Disney+. Plus. Um, and I saw a sneak preview of, uh, I think it's episode one, uh, on Jimmy Kimmel last night. And this is going to be a trip. This is going to be an amazing episode. So, or the amazing season. Guys, thank you so much. Again, the beautiful Jolie Jones Catwoman statue. I've waited over, I've waited over a year for this. Um, and it's finally here. Job well done, guys. Uh... And uh, check it out over at uh, sideshowcollectibles.com, the DC Collectibles uh, link. And I will show you, a, I will post a picture here on, uh, on this Instagram account as well as on PS Comics I Love You when this makes her debut with the rest of the um, statues in my collection. Hey, John, what's going on? 
I see John joining the uh, the foray. Really cool. The the ear well, the earrings don't move. Don't want to mess with them. Um, just a, a great great job. Again, my only complaint really is the the statue base not uh, getting to see. Um, I don't want to take it off because um, I had such a hard time. But you see there the Jolie Jones signature on the base, and um, I know that with my Batgirl statue, it's visible and it's a perfect spot to have um, her sign. And I'll probably still have her sign it, but uh, it just won't be seen. Guys, thank you so much and have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your week. We will see you next week on the podcast. Again, PS Comics, I love you. The link is up there above. I know it says paid sponsorship, paid partnership. Not, well, not technically, just I wanted to draw attention right up here, right there. It's scrolling. P.S. Comics, I love you. And uh, thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. Have a great night. We'll see you later.